Hello everyone, welcome to session number 11 and I'm excited about this one because I'd like to show you some new ideas that you may have not have come across because one of them is covered in the advanced course and that is the TMB where you use two numbers in a top, middle or bottom as opposed to one number. Also I want to show you some other little neat tricks and techniques when you're solving three empty cells uh, in a row, column or block, particularly a block today. So, let's push on. First of all, the first thing I look at when I look at this puzzle is that I notice that in the top three blocks here we have an advanced stage of TMB. What do I mean by that? 2-6 middle, 2-6 bottom, 2-6 top. Therefore we know that this has to be a 2-6 based on that, that, and that, middle, bottom, top. If this is a 2-6, I keep that in my head, I look down, there's a 6 down in here, so that has to be the 2, and this has to be the 6. So that was some good progress right there. Now let's look at the ramifications of all that. Fives, well, we have, uh, uh, well, no, five, that comes later. We made, we made a 6 and a 2, so the 6 could go left, right, we could go here and here. So we could put a little 6 in there if we wanted to. Fine. Um, twos. Well, there's nothing much we can do with the twos, but now we can go back to the normal system. Horizontal blocks, vertical blocks, and so on. Ones. If I look at the ones here and go across this way, and take this one and go up, we're left with two cells where a 1 can be located. That's good. Uh, twos. Twos are all there. Top, bottom, middle. Threes. There are no threes. Leave it. Fours. Um, hmm. We cannot have a four here, and we cannot have a four there or there. A four has to be up in here. Because if you had a four there, it's because you can't have a four, a bottom, middle, and a top. There's no room for it. So if you have a bottom, a top, the fours can go here or here. Bottom, top, middle. Fives. Well, we do have two fives. We have a top, a middle, and a bottom. This becomes a five, and therefore this becomes a one. And let's look at the ramifications of that. Let's look at five to begin with. Five, five, center, right, left. So this will give us a five there and a five there. Let's take a, take a look at the ones going across this way. We could have a one here, here, or here. But we could also, over here, we have left, right, could be a one down in here, or there. So lots of ramifications on that one. That was a pun. Um, threes, there's no threes, fours, fives, sixes. Well, the sixes are all there, that's great. Uh, we did the ramification of the six when we got the new one. Sevens. No sevens, let's leave it. Eights. Well, here's something important. If I look at this eight and go across here, we can't have an eight there, there, or there, but we could have an eight up in here. And I notice that here we have a four, we have an eight there, and an eight there. Now that could be a matching pair, because we can't have a four eight in here at all. So we could make that a matching pair. Now, if that's a 4-8 and that's a 4-8, we, we, we may need to have a 4-8 in here. Let's see if it works. Yes, we have an 8 here, so that makes a 4. No, that can't work. No, that won't work. Um, forget what I just said there. That's getting carried a bit, a bit carried away there. We, I'm talking about a 4-8 up in here. This could be a 4, and this could be an 8. Now we can double check that in another technique. This is a 4 8, center, bottom, top. Now because uh, we did that system of, of rationale, I'm just showing you something different. Because we have uh, an 8 here, an 8 has to be up on top there, and we couldn't have it there because of that 8, but this business of an 4 8. 4, 8 enable us to get that 4 as well. 
So that was a little complicated, but don't, not to worry. Nines. There's no nines. Let's leave it. Go to this set of blocks. Ones. Well, we know for a fact that a one cannot be in this block, there, there, and there. It has to be either there or there because of that one cancelling this one out. So if you have a, a middle, you have a bottom, there has to be a top, so one of these can be a one. Let's go on. Twos. There's no twos. Threes. There's no threes. Fours. Well, here we have a situation similar to the one. We have a four, one. We, there, we have to have a four down in here somewhere because of the fact that you can't have a four in there. So let's put the fours in. We can have a four there. We can have a four there. But we can't have a four there. Now, I'm not going to underline anything there because we, there's another number that needs to fit there somewhere and we'll find that out later. But we're having the same situation occur as I had up here. TMB with two numbers. 1, 4. We know we have to have a 1, 4 down in here. Therefore, this becomes a 1, 4. Middle, bottom, top. So this becomes a 1, 4. And it's a matching pair because it's the only two cells that can go up there in this block. So that was handy to know. Fives. Well, we have two. We have, and this is, here's our other number for the bottom in here. In this center block, we can't have a five there. It has to be down in here. So we have a one four here. That's a five there, so we can't have a five there. We can have a five there. And there's no fives up and down. There's, we can have a five here. So we'll make that a one five, one four five. Okay, so we now know that in this bottom section, we have a one four five. There's no other numbers that can go down in there based on what we've been doing. So, because the 5 has to be down there, if the 5 has to be down here, this now becomes our 5. And this is something else. Now, come, then, come to think of it, I see all kinds of neat things happening here. Because we have now, we know 145 is there, we can work out what's supposed to be in here. We don't know where they all go necessarily, but we know which numbers should go in there. So let's look at, look at it. What is missing? We're missing a 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, and a 9. Okay, if I put, I can do the long way, I'll show you. 2, 3, 9, 2, 3, 9, 2, 3, 9. Now you, can do, you don't have to do it that way, you could just do it in your head. But watch how this works. Look at this cell here. Is there a 2, 3, 9 in the column? Yes, there is. That means the 2's gone, the 3's gone, we're left with a 9. And that fits because we have a top, middle, and a bottom. And up and this way, no. So we can now eliminate that 9 and eliminate that 9, and that leaves us with a 2, 3 matching pair. Fantastic. Is there a 2, two or 3 up and down in here? No. Is there a two or three up and down in here? No, not yet. Okay. Now, we've got a situation here where we have a matching pair plus two. We have here uh, that opportunity to fix that if we wanted to. And we're up to fives. Let me continue on with fives for the... Well, we, we did the fives, five, fives. Uh, we'll do the sixes now. We could have a six here, six, six, six. Look at this, folks. This is a cross technique being very effective. Here's a six. Go across to this block in here. Can't be a six there. Take this six. Come down there. Can't be a six there. Take this six. Can't be a six there, there, there. The only place a six can go is there. Now we have two situations in these three blocks where we have a matching pair plus two. Let's apply it. One, what is missing over here? We have a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a two, three. A two, three, two, three matching pair. Remember I said before, if you have a matching pair plus two, you will get another matching pair. Now immediately I see the ramifications of that. This here, we've got a two already here, so this becomes a three. And this becomes a 2. That fits because we have a top, left, and a center. 
no, sorry, a centre, left, and a right. Now we have a, a block with only two left in it. So we were able to solve those two numbers based on the fact that we knew you can, you can go a matching pair plus two. We also have another matching pair somewhere here. Let me see. Yes, two, three, plus two. Well, right away I see that there can't be a six there because that six calls that. So this therefore becomes a six because we, we calculated that before down here there could only be two sixes. There. So that's now, this is the real six. So we can work out what's missing in here. Let's look it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is missing. Look, oh, this is amazing. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Now I designed this puzzle specifically because uh, I wanted to show you the power of TMB when, when you look for two numbers in a top, middle, bottom, or in this case, top, middle, bottom. We we'll put the same thing, left, center, right. Because of that 7878, seven, this 7 cancels that 7 out, so this becomes an 8. But be, just before I forget, I'll come back to it, that 78, middle, 78, top. This has to be a 78. And I can write in that little 78 right away, because I don't think it's going to ha have any ramifications. Up and down, no. But this one does. So this 7 cancels this one 7 out, so that becomes an 8, which cancels that 8, and this becomes a 4. That cancels that 8, that 4 out, this becomes an 8. And therefore, because we cancel this one out, that 8 cancels this out, this becomes a 7. Wow, powerful! Now, let's look at all that. Let's check to see if we're all correct. What are the, all those new numbers that we got? We got a, uh, an 8, 8, that meant to that 8, 8, that all works. 4, we'll come to that in a second. 7s, uh, we have a 7, 7, one of these is a 7, so I can put in a, a 7 here and a 7 there. Good, but what about the ramification of this 4? We know that that can't be a 4 now, so it has to be a 1. And therefore, and that's a pun, therefore, this becomes a 1, that becomes a 4, sorry. If that becomes a 4, this 1 is cancelled, and uh, we're left with just two cells in this one, and the two cells are a 2 and a 3. Well, doesn't that make it interesting? Watch, we have another TMB with two numbers. Watch, 2, 3, bottom, 2, 3, middle, 2, 3, top. Isn't that amazing? The 7, 8, middle, 7, 8, top, 7, 8, bottom. So, that's going to really help us. We've pretty well done it now. We've done the 8s. 8's in here, we know that 8, 8, 9, and 7, 7, 7, 7, yes, 8, 9's, 9's, 9's. So we're now ready to do these bottom numbers. But before I do that, I just noticed something that I missed. In the, we're getting all these numbers here. Because we've uh, now got a 2 up here, we put a 2, 3 in there, that becomes a 3. And this becomes a 2. Oh, tremendous progress. Let's have a look a little bit more. Okay, to right, left, we have a center here and a center there. Well, the other one was a three, wasn't it? Well, a three could be all over the place here, and could be all over the place here, so either three. Okay, well, that was great. So we covered advanced technique of TMB using two numbers, top, middle, and bottom, and some little techniques you can do when you have got three empty cells in a block. Thank you very much. See you next session. Session 12 covers three cells in a row or column as well as a block. Bye for now.